How's it going everybody? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device. This is my Samsung Galaxy S5 and as some of you may or may not know it did receive the uh, Lollipop OTA update just the other day and thanks to a lot of guys over at XDA, a bunch of testers and some developers, we have root access on Lollipop. So today's video we're going to show you that. Let's go do this. Okay, let's go over some things that you are going to need on your Samsung Galaxy S5 to get root on a Lollipop. So just so we're all on the same page, you guys can fo follow along very clearly with what I'm working with. Here is the device that I have right now, and it is on, let's see here, NI2 is the build number, okay? This is technically a custom ROM and it has a lot of things disabled in it, but this will still work. Really, it doesn't matter what your baseband version is um, to do this. Now, if you're already on Lollipop, uh, prerequisite, you're going to have to downgrade. Luckily, this Lollipop version of 0A8, which would be your build number you just saw there in uh, settings, is downgradable. So if we have downgradable, that's just a beautiful thing because to get root on Lollipop, you have to start out from KitKat. You have to downgrade and you have to get root access. You can see I have root access right here with uh, super user. So that's going to be obviously a requirement. Um, but you can downgrade, get root access. I have a video on it. I'll try to link it right up here for you guys. And do that. Downgrade, get root access, and you'll be at the point where I'm at. So to continue on with these prerequisites, um, you saw what I'm on right there for my build number. You're going to need to have root access. You're going to need to have... Uh, where is it at here? BusyBox right there. BusyBox free. You can get from the Play Store installed. And you're going to have to have SafeStrap on your device already. Now, normally there's an app in here for SafeStrap, but because this is a custom ROM, there's no app in the ROM for SafeStrap, but it is installed, and you'll see that when I reboot my device. And then from here, you're going to have to also have a file, which let me show you where it is. So here is ES File Browser. Um, this is my SD card, but I need to go to my micro SD card. So I'm going to go down here to storage, external SD card. This is my external SD card right here. You have to have an external SD card for this process to work. So right here, you can see I have this file right here, and I'll actually get you the full name of it. We'll go to properties. This is ES File Browser. This is my favorite file browser. So right there it is. This is for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S5, which is the G900V, and the build number right there is OA OA8. And 100% stock rooted ROM. That's what we need on our device to get root for Lollipop. Okay, and I'll explain how this works as we go. Now, you have all these prerequisites met. You are able to get your rooted ro Lollipop ROM on. And it'll be 100% stock with root when we're done. And you'll see there's some tricks to getting this working. Right behind me over there is the XDA thread uh, with all the step by step directions of doing this process. So, First thing we got to do, we have all of our prerequisites met, is go ahead and reboot our device right here. So I'm going to go ahead and say restart, hit OK. And this is going to reboot, and you're going to see the SafeStrap logo. And once you see that SafeStrap logo, we're going to enter into SafeStrap Recovery by hitting the little menu button down here on the bottom left corner. Right there it is. Hit that. And that's going to boot us into safe strap recovery. From here, it's very critical that you follow these steps exactly for this process to function. So we booted into safe strap, and we want to go ahead and make an Android backup. Before we start doing all this flashing and doing all this updating and getting Lollipop working here with root access, I want to point out battery percentage. I got 93% battery. It's a good idea to have close to 100% before you really start doing a lot of this process. Um, but that being noted, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into... Well, first of all, you can see you're on stock ROM slot. If you're running a custom ROM, make sure you're on stock. Then you're going to go right here to where it says backup. And you're going to select just data. Just data. That's all you want to back up. We don't need to back up your system or your cache. You can if you want, but not needed. And we're going to go ahead and make sure it's going to the uh, micro SD card, which is the external. You don't want to go to the internal. Make sure it's on the external. And you got plenty of space for it, which I do. Go ahead and swipe across and create your backup of data. Strictly data, like I said, that's all we need. This way, when you backup data like this, when we flash this new Lollipop rooted ROM, stock rooted ROM, 
we can go ahead and restore our data back and we don't lose our data because we're gonna have to wipe everything to install this ROM. Now, like I say, I keep saying ROM, but really what this is, is it's all the stock firmware pulled and created into a ROM zip and rooted on top of that. The only thing with um, SafeStrap, and as most of you guys know, you can't flash custom kernels. So we're not gonna have the Lollipop kernel. Well, not yet. Once we go ahead and finish this process, we're gonna boot into download mode, connect our device to our computer, and go ahead and get that kernel installed correctly so we'll be 100% official lollipop with root. That is going to be the game plan. Let's go ahead and let this backup finish. So that backup is about a little over three gigs and it uh, took a good, oh man, 1,031 seconds. However many minutes that is, it was forever. It took me, just, oh, drive me nuts. All right, backup is complete, right? So you can see what I'm talking about losing battery percentage there. I'm already dropped quite a few there, about 5%. So ROM slot stock, boom, that's what we're on. We're gonna install this ROM, or kinda of update us. Kinda of hard to say it like that, but it's what it is. We're gonna to go to wipes, and for a warning, this is gonna wipe out everything on the device that's not on the SD card, okay? You lose everything if you do this right now. If you don't wanna do it, reboot your phone and figure out, you know, backing up your stuff, then, then go on. So we're gonna to go to advanced wipe, and we're gonna select everything but the micro SD card. So we're gonna say cache, data, um, Delvet cache, system. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not wipe micro SD card. All right, swipe across and go ahead and let this wipe out all of your uh, partitions because you want all those partitions nice and clean for installing this ROM because this is gonna fully update you to Lollipop. So we'll go back, go back, go back, go to install and if you put your ROM, I put mine on the root of the micro SD card. It should come right up. You can see it right there on the bottom listed. Just click on it. And it gives you a warning about stock, blah, 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 yada, yada. I know this, not a big deal, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and swipe across to flash. And this is where it gets exciting. This is Lollipop, this is rooted. Um, quick note, when you flash Lollipop, you will lose safe strap functionality. Okay, and there you go. There is the guy who created this uh, ROM, which super awesome dude. Uh, I wish I could say his name, but it's listed right there. It's Muniz Rai. I don't know. I'm terrible with names, especially people's screen names because it's sometimes not even a name. So anyway, he's right there. Big props to him. Shout out. I'm super, super excited for this ROM. This is going to take quite a while. This ROM is 1.6 gigs. So quite a good size because it's official TouchWiz. It's everything. It's all lollipop in its glory along with root. So we're going to let this thing install. We'll come back to it when it finishes. Okay, so the ROM is flashed. Now, very important. We want to get that data back, right? We backed it up. That's why we did it. We want to get it back. So we're going to go to restores. And you're going to select this. And all you see is the data partition. And go ahead and swipe across to restore your data now. This way you keep all your data, you get your live pop, you get your root, you get everything. Yeah, let's let this thing run. All right, your data restore is complete and it's very important here that you do not hit the reboot system. What you wanna do is go back to the home and then you wanna go to reboot and you wanna say reboot to download mode. Um, basically you need to flash the kernel here and if you don't reboot into download mode, you won't be able to flash the kernel. So it's very important that we do this. From here guys, we are in download mode and we're gonna shoot to my computer and flash that kernel over. Let's do this. All right guys, so here we go. This is the forum for this whole process. I'll give you links to this. Definitely read this. If you have any problems, come here, all right? But to finish this, we need to go into here and some of the files you're gonna be downloading and one of them is this uh, Odin program. So you're gonna need this file, this file. Here's the stock ROM you have from the device we just flashed. And here you need this kernel. So those are the files you're basically going to be needing. If for some reason you're already on Lollipop and you had to downgrade, you would have needed this file and a bunch of these other ones. And like I said, I'll link you to everything, so it's not a big deal. So for what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch the Odin EXE. So we'll launch that right there. And we're going to have to do some things from here, but we need to connect our device. So uh, make sure your Samsung drivers are already installed. I'll give you links to them if you don't have Samsung drivers installed on your computer. I already have them installed. I'm not going to cover that. 
It's really simple. They might even install without downloading the Samsung drivers from my site. You might just install automatically from Motorola or from Samsung, I should say. I'm sorry. So we're going to go ahead and plug this device in. And there you go. It is plugged in. And now you can see this. This is very nice. This is good to know. Right here in Odin, you can see that it says a com and a number, and it's in blue, and it says added right here. If that is what you're seeing, it doesn't have to have exact com number, but it needs to be com and a number. It doesn't have to say eight, but anyway. And you're seeing added. You're good. Drivers are installed. Devices communicating with the computer and the program. You are good to go, okay? So from here, we're going to click on PA right there and we're gonna navigate to where we have our firmware downloaded mine is in this file right here and right here and right there so we need to be flashing this file which is the G900V-088 stock kernel this is the kernel for Lollipop so we're gonna click on it and what it does right here which is really cool is it checks the MD5 of the file and if everything looks okay it'll say successful and it just proves that you have a good download so this is very important so that's it you're all good here and don't check mess with anything else just go ahead and hit start and if everything goes correctly it should boot there and the progress bar along the device should boot fully and it will reboot the device so here we go this is going to be official boot up of lollipop that's all you got to do on the computer with odin is flash that um, lollipop kernel and we can close this out and we're done on our computer. Ooh, there we go, Samsung. So I'm really, really excited to see this, guys, to see Lollipop on this device, to have Root on this device. Just awesome, awesome work um, for the guys on XDA. There was a lot of testing and developing going on yesterday and last night. Um, and we finally got this Root functional. So I'm going to let this boot up. First boot up here, because it's Lollipop, takes a really long time. They switched to um, art runtime development, or runtime environment, I should say. And so the initial boot up and setup of art um, takes a lot longer than Delvic, which is what we used to be running on in KitKat. So this boot up, give it 10 minutes. 10 minutes, you're going to probably see that Verizon screen for 10 minutes. When that's done, I'm going to show you guys Lollipop and Root. Let's do this. Shabam. There it is. All right. So very much looks standard, right? I mean... Nothing really that different looking here from KitKat, but we'll go ahead and just kind of shoot through our app door. Now you can see just all the applications. It's all here. And then if things went correctly, uh, let's see here. There it is. Super SU. Man, I was drawing a blank on that one. Let's just hit no thank you. And as long as you didn't have an update warning about binaries not installed, you have root access. So that is it. You have root access there. Let's go ahead and make sure. Oh, now this looks a little different. You can see some different stuff in here. Some toggles look a little, little bit different. We can go into settings. And we'll go down to about phone. And you will see right there, Android 5.0. And we can tap on it and get to our Easter egg. Lolly, la la la, lollipop. So very cool. And then if you tip, tap and hold, you'll get to your little, uh, you know, game. Everybody's seen the, the Android game, which is pretty sweet. So there you go. That's it. You have root access and you have the Samsung Galaxy S5 on lollipop. Very, very cool. Awesome process. Well, that's going to wrap it up for Root on the Samsung Galaxy S5 on Android 5.0 Lollipop. Hope you guys have liked this video. Stay tuned for more coverage on this device. Um, please check me out, Twitter, Facebook, all my social media links will be in the video description down below, along with all of the links to the files you're going to need to accomplish this task. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.